Hello, I'm Frankie. And I'm Rachel. And welcome back to the next part of our 999 Let's Play. So, if you remember from the last ones, we were getting a little bit frustrated with all like oh, all this finicky stuff that we have to do to get these other yeah, endings. We've that got we're to missing. do the seek way out again. Again, that's really annoying. Because like you know, once you do these seek way outs, you don't want to do them again. You've already done them. And uh, the reason why we have to do them again is because there's like choices in there where like, oh, uh, like when um, Santa gives us a bookmark, you we can say, do you take the bookmark or do you not take the bookmark? And we need to do these things, these specific things in this order. So we're now following a walkthrough. We're going to be going for the coffin ending first. Then we're going to get the um, safe ending, which is what we need to do that in order, before we can get the true ending. And then after that, we'll get the true ending. So hopefully it'll be a walk in the park. So, we've already got the dresser, key, and we've already got the matches, <coughs> and we've got the map. What do we have to do now? We have to get the candle from the table and combine it with the matches. Well, I see a candle now. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I won't bother reading any of this stuff, because we've already done it. So, yeah, combine it with the matches, you say? Yeah. I know, if I use these matches, I'll light candle. Yeah, make candle. Yeah, now what? Go into the dark bedroom with the candle. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. Oh. Oh. Now what? Unlock the dresser with the dresser key. Uh, yeah. Open the dra dresser drawer and get the tile. Yep, got the tile. Now what? Uh, get the shower curtain from the bed in the dark bedroom. Shower curtain from the bed. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we got. Okay. Yep. Get the candlestick key. Where's that? That is the candlestick, isn't it? Oh, oh, okay. Candlestick key, yeah, yeah, yeah. Done. Use now what? that on the display case. Where's the dis what display case? Where? Doesn't say. I guess here. And take the tile out. Oh, I'd have to click on this. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we've got the tile. Now is when we have to take the bookmark. Okay, here we go. It's now done. Skip it. Blah, 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 blah. But mark, yep. And it's just turn us to get it. Did we take it last time? We did. Take it. Alright, I'll take it. Blah, 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 blah. And he's just like, yeah. Uh, I guess it, it, this doesn't matter, does it? There's no mention of that. Okay, so it doesn't matter what we pick. We'll just say you mean like gambling. Well, I don't understand how you'd get these ends if you weren't following a walkthrough. You just have to like... How would you know you've got to take the bookmark? You wouldn't. You have to experiment. So, go into the bathroom, the one with without the shower curtain. I'm guessing that's back where we came from. And then put the curtain up. Close the curtain and look through the hole. Oh, where the fuck? How do I put the curtain up? Oh wait, is this... Oh, this one does have one. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, I thought, ha, 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 we've already done this before. Guess I do need to go there. Okay, here. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And what we've got to do? You've got to close the curtain and look through the hole. Right, look through the hole. Yeah. Then go back to the other bathroom. Back to the other bathroom. And so the tile we need is the third row from the top and the fifth from the left. So, third row from the top. Yeah. What does that mean? Here? Yeah. 
And then the fifth one. From the left. So here. I don't know, that one? Oh, I, I did it from the right like a dummy, hang on. Ah, oh, fuck off, I didn't mean to do that. So, third from the left. And then the fifth so from the one, left. Two, three, four, five. And this one. Well, what am I doing wrong? What does it say exactly? Because I don't, I didn't understand. Go to the other bathroom and get the tile from the wall. Fifth from left, third from top. Fifth from left. One, two, three, four, five. One, three. Here. What am I doing wrong? You're not. Maybe, it's, maybe it's written down wrong. What does it say when well, the door? Well, I remember it was on this side, not the right side. And that's what I thought, but it says left on here. What does the dialogue say when you keep clicking on it? Does it not tell you? Fifth one from the top, third one from the right. That is not what this says. Yeah, fucking stupid idiot type man. So, fifth from the top, third from the left. So one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now what? Use the tiles in the picture that has only one tile. That's back. That one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, do you... Are you okay do, to do this or do you want directions? Just, just give me the directions, I can't bother to. Slide the lower right tile to the upper left and rotate it twice. So this tile up, up to the there. Up there and rotate it twice. Yeah. Then rotate the upper right tile once. Yeah. That's all it says. Oh, oh fuck these guys, they're stupid. Why can't I? Yes. So get the Mars key and use the key on the double doors in the hall. Oh. This bullshit. Doesn't matter what it doesn't matter what we pick for the ending, does it? It doesn't say anything about that. We'll just pick the dog, because that's the fucking right one. This, this is just so tedious. <clears throat> as much as I am complaining, I do like this game though, it's a good game, but I don't like the, this part. This part of where they're like, oh, just do these things all over again. When we've already done them before. I liked what they did in the, the other games afterwards where they didn't make that integral to get into different endings. It was, you know, you didn't have to like do these entire puzzles all over again. Anyway, uh, now what do we need to do? Go to the Mars door. Yeah, have you, you've got the key, yeah? Yeah. Where Go the fuck? To, it's in the hallway. Oh, okay. du double doors. Double doors, then yeah, boom. Then we should get to the kitchen. Alright, let's go, come on. Oh, yeah. Cool. Skip, skip, skip. Alright, so what is the next thing we've got to do? We're now going to do the kitchen seek our way out, and the thing we've got to remember is we've got to say it's rather odd when June talks about CO2. Okay. So, from the kitchen. Yeah, we got it. Whoa. Okay. So, what a bit. Right, get the whetstone from next to the sink. Next to the sink. I did not. What? We're next to the sink. Wait, with this? Is this the sink? Ah. Yep. Go to the storage room to the right of the teapot. Yep. Move the white sheet and get the rusty knife from the wooden box.
Yeah. Move the middle cheese. Oh god, all that bloody. Have you ever heard the story of the sinking of Titan? Uh, we we yeah, said we no. Well, we have now. We have now. I looked up. Should we say oh, we have or should we say no still? Let's just go for the things that we've done. It's not yeah. integral to the fucking plot. Oh, this is new. But Jumpy, you said you believe in curses. Oh, it's not. そのステッドとかってやつが小説を書いた時には当然事故による死者なんて存在しなかったわけで自動書記が例の憑依によって行われるものだとするなら一体誰がこのように事故のことを書かせたっていうんだあ、なおいけんオッケー、ウォーカット
some chicken on dry ice. And then use the dry ice on the bottle. And then dry ice on the bottle. And then yeah. use the rope on the bottle. Yeah. Then use the bottle on the door handle. Alright, get lost. Hang on, I accidentally press on. Alright, and then use this here. Skipper, we've already done this. Boom. Use the pork on the grill. Grill, with the grill. Down there. Pork. Oops, I want pork on the grill. Yeah. And I guess use the knife. Use the knife on the whetstone. Yeah, and then cut when the, the pork. pork is done, use the knife. And we've got the paper. Okay, yeah. Now what? It says those numbers are hexadecimal. In decimal, they are twelve plus sixteen plus fifteen equals forty-three. Enter forty-three into the keypad. I'm guessing this keypad here. Yep, yeah, we're gonna forty-three. Yeah. Get the Saturn key card and use it on the door. Yes, okay, we get it, we get it. Got the key card. And then, is this the door? Yeah, we did that. Boo, boo, boo. We're done. <coughs> okay, so what's the next thing we so need to do? We need to go through door seven. Cool, cool. So we just skip to now. To get to the operating room. Door seven to the operating room. See, I don't like uh, when because uh, because it's so finicky. I don't like using guides for a game. I like it when a game's more. Uh, I think it the word, but you know, like in in Virtual Last Reward, we just remember it was just like a simple, straightforward. We didn't get confused or anything. It was just a flow chart, and we just went. You know, certain routes, and it, it seems really straightforward to get everything. This seems a little bit more finicky. Mm. What's going on now? Oh, yeah, this is when they're like, oh, it's dead. Oh, yeah, this is when they're all going to get split up now, aren't it? Yeah. All gonna... And it didn't say anything that, that uh, we need to do. Put a proper end, did it? Anything specific we have to do? What, in door seven? Oh, no, no, I mean, like, in the options here. No, it's just when, we, when we're in the operating room, we've got two things to do. What do we have to do in the operating room? We have to ask Seven if he knows about Ice Nine, and we have to give Clover the bookmark. How on earth do we ask him about knowing Ice Nine? I don't remember asking Seven about that. And now other playthroughs that we've done, I mean. I don't think we did. And I don't I don't remember giving her, oh, did we give her a bookmark? I can't remember. They're back on now. Do we not have to do any of those things? Before, I swear we had like some little downtime. <laughs> Whoa. 
What the fuck is this? Oh, this oh this is the downtime, I guess, isn't it? Yeah. Let's just get back to the large hospital room. Right? Let's not fuck around. Oh. もしかしたらどこから行き違いになってるかもしれないだろう。なるほど。わかりました。おろ。Oh, let's talk to him. Let's just like do everything that we Let's just do everything we did, shall we? Yeah, it doesn't say anything else. Finish searching, really. But it doesn't look like it's changing. It's, it's not going to fucking change anything. Leave free behind people. Not sure. Like, no. Isn't that where we'll be like nine? We won't be able to go to nine. Uh, what door do we want to go through again? Seven. Door numero seven. All right, so we're going through seven. Yeah. That's a bit of that confused us. We were like, what was she doing? So we, def we definitely know that she's killed us and the others before, but we don't know who killed us when they stabbed us in the back that one, that other, the first time we got killed. Or the submarine one. Or the submarine one. But we do suspect Ace. Yeah, because... His it... body looked weird as well. Like The other two people's bodies were like on the stairs and his was just curled up like in front of them. Which is, I don't know, there was something odd about it. I just think it's weird. We only mentioned number eight was missing. Yeah. We didn't say anyone else's was missing. Right, so, what do we do here then? <coughs> Remember, we've got to make sure we say about Ice 9 and the bookmark. Right. So, get the forceps from the table near the Lucy mannequin. This is this. What the fuck forceps is? Yep. Get the scalpel from the table near the medical model with its organ showing. Yep. Use the forceps on the medical model with its organ showing. Yep. Use scalpel on fake lung. Yep, got a key. Get fake torso from table near the medicine cabinet. Yep. Go to the curtain and turn right. Use the organ key on the nearest door. Turn right. Oh, wrong one. Oh, stop accidentally fucking picking it. Yep. In the room of all the medicine, get the bottle of red liquid and the bottle of blue liquid from the table. Yep. The note on the table says blah 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 blah. blah. So the solution is three, four, nine. Oh, for the box. Yeah. Three, four, nine. I get the arm and the heart. Yep. Exit the room. This will trigger a story segment with seven. Modoroka. So I'm guessing this is where we say. Right. Oh, this is no. Oh, 
その現象は瞬く間に世界各地へと広がっていっただろそうだ要するにそういうことなんだだが何で分かった似たような話を聞いたことがあるからだよどこで冷凍庫で冷凍庫なあそこで紫から聞いたんだがうん常温でも溶けない氷か何か思い当たることでもえー、ちょっと待ってくれもう少しで思い出しそうなんだもしかして No about Ice Nine、yeah. アイスナインのこと知ってるのかアイスナインアイスナインアイスナインアイスナイン<笑>アイスアイスアイスアイスそうだ思い出したぜこの船にはあの少女がいるんだえあの少女アリスのことだよアリスアリス Wasn't Alice in Virtual Last Reward? Yes, the one when she was like, You did it last time. Alice did it last time. Dagger, John never did it. Call it the other soldier. He's not talking about all ice. And then something about all ice. Yeah, there was something about that. Huh? What? 1912年4月15日の未明 Titanic Kungo got chimbots to start a stereo. ああ犠牲者の数は1500名以上史上最悪の海難事故だそれがどうかしたのか遺体を回収した船のことは確かカルパチア号じゃなかったかなタイタニック号と同じイギリス船籍の客船だったと思うが違うそいつは生存者を救出した船のことだ遺体を回収した船はマッケイ・ベネット号というベネット号は事故発生から2日後の4月17日カナダのハリファクスにある港を出港し現場海域において306人の遺体を収容したそこは氷山の漂う極寒の海原当然のごとく引き上げられた遺体はガチガチに凍りついていたというあまり気分のいい話じゃないなそれでベネット号が引き上げたのは何も遺体だけじゃなかった洋上に浮かんだ数々の遺品も回収したと言われているその中に一気の棺があったあコーフンは棺そう棺だ木おそらく腕の立つ職人が作ったんだろう I this is true. So, I this is、like、a little true little story. 組木細工のような構造をしていたその棺は一本の釘も使われていなかったにもかかわらず少しの隙間もなくびっちりと密閉されていたらしい。全員たちは気になってその棺を開けてみることにしたくさびを打ち込んで無理やりこじ開けたんだすると中に収められていたのは一人の少女の亡きがらだった That's quite funny because、uh, the Alice in Virtual Last Reward she did kind of look kind of Egyptian yeah, like her thing It's quite interesting Quite interesting. A day I can a crocami. Mizu Mizishku Uruo Yomato da Kashoku no Hada Kihin Tadayo Sono Kaudachua. Mar de Megami no Yo New Tsukushka to you. Kanojoa Nemuru Yon Shindita. Imani Mokia got the Kisona Hodo, Keshuku no E. Tsuyakana Hada o Stata. Dana. 彼女が目覚めることはなかった他の犠牲者たちと同じように彼女の体は冷たく凍りついていたんだやがて捜索を終えたベネット号は母校であるハリファクスの港へと戻った次々と陸揚げされていく306体の遺体
春のうららかな日差しを浴びてその頃にはもう凍っていた遺体はぐずぐずと溶け出していた中には腐臭を放ち始めていたものもあったとかところが一体だけ凍りついたままの綺麗な遺体が存在したそれが棺の中に収められていた少女だったとそうだ最初は誰もが思ったほんの23日もすれば彼女の体も腐り始めるだろうとだが1週間経っても2週間経っても状態はまるで変わらなかった一月が経ち二月が経ち季節はすでに夏それでもなお凍ったままの彼女の姿はやがて人々から奇跡と呼ばれるようになった噂は噂を呼んで瞬く間に広がり奇跡の少女を一目見ようと大勢の人々がハリファクスの港へと押し寄せることになったそんな中誰からともなく彼女のことをこんな風に呼び始めたオールアイスアリスとアリスだだがその噂も長くは続かなかったどうした消えちまったんだよアリスの姿が突然と何者かが倉庫に忍び込んでアリスの遺体を持ち去ったらしい姿が消えれば噂も消える次第に彼女のことは忘れ去られていき今では当時の新聞にその名残をわずかにとどめるばかりだ待ってくれお前はさっきこの船にはあの少女がいるってああ言ったなアリスは間違いなくこの船のどこかにいるはずだなぜ俺は知ってるからだ何をその後アリスがどうなったのかを聞かせてくれふんどうなったんだアリスは当時ニューヨークには世界中の富豪たちが集まるブラックマーケットがあったと言われているそこのオークションでアリスは競売にかけられたんだ落札した人物の名はさ聞いたことのある名前だろうゴールダイン卿タイタニック号の姉妹船、yeah. ギガント号を買い取った人物かその通りまあ時系列的には逆になるんだがなというとゴルダイン卿は1912年にアリスを手に入れてからその4年後の1916年にギガントを買い取ったんだそしてギガントのどこかにアリスを隠したそれがどこなのかはわからん彼は1931年にこの世を去っているアリスの隠し場所を誰にも告げぬままくたばっちまったのさただただなんだゴルダイン卿の側近が一度だけ訪ねたことがあるそうだアリスはどこにすると彼はこう答えたというギガントのへその下知識の森を抜けた小部屋にアリスは眠っているなんだそりゃ暗号かさあなとにかくそんなわけで俺は確信してるんだよギガントのどこかにつまりこのうんちょっと二人とも何やってんのよそんなところでダベってないで早く出てきなさいよ<笑>いや分かった分かったすぐに行くよたくもとにかくまそういうわけだ今話したこといずれ役に立つ時が来るかもしれん忘れんなよ Don't forget it. Okay. アリスアリスアリスアリスアリスアリスアリスアリスアリスアリスアリスアリスアリスアリスアリスアリスアリスアリスアリスアリスアリスアリスアリスアリスアリスアリスアリスアリスアリスアリスアリスアリスアリスアリスアリスアリスアリスアリスアリスアリスアリスアリスアリスアリスアリスアリスアリスアリスアリスアリス
maybe like a little, you know, like that's just a nod to this one. ホリツイタその体は砂漠の上を運ばれている時でさえ決して溶けることはなかったと言われています。その you can't say that. But anyway, since we're uh, over half an hour in, we're gonna cut this video off here. And the next one, maybe we'll get the, the coffin ending. Hopefully, we'll see. So, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.